Hi, I'm Dave Taylor, Fellering Guide. I'm here in the Peak District. A lovely day where I'm testing out trail running shoes that are suitable for all conditions. Okay, so I've had a good play around with these shoes. Um, tried them in different types of conditions. I've got a bit of a better idea as to who they might suit, uh, what type of runner and what sort of conditions. Starting off with the, the, the more heavily cushioned shoes, looking at the ultra tint, really comfortable underfoot, um, lots of cushioning there. An interesting thing I noticed about the ultra is the foot shape. So you can see it's very wide across the toe area here. And that's a deliberate um, design. The idea is that it lets your toes splay out rather than confining them. So anyone who's got wide feet across the toes, I think that would really suit them. And also you could imagine maybe running for a long time on hard packed trails, maybe on a hot day when your feet starting to swell. Um, you know, you, you might be grateful of that wider toe box in there. In terms of height, so feel quite high above the ground, lots of cushioning in there. So they may well suit a heavier runner who needs more cushioning and certainly sort of a longer distance runner on harder pack trails. Grip wise, well, they're fine on drier conditions. Um, found them a little bit, maybe a bit sketchy on very muddy terrain. Um, and. I wouldn't really like to do much uh, wet grass running on those. There are a zero drop shoes we said before, so anyone who likes that that zero, um, no sort of toe to heel differential might suit those. That's your Ultra Tint 2. Similarly, in a way with the, the Hokers, again, we've got a big cushion there, very comfortable underfoot. The difference being with these is you can see comparing the the toe area that the hokers are kind of much more pointed across the toes, whereas the ultras are wider. If people don't want a, a wide toe box, then these might suit. Personally, um, I've, I've got a, a previous version of these and I do wear them. I really like them for recovery runs. So if, I'd have, if I've had a hard race or our training session and I want to run the next day but I want to I don't want too much impact then I'll wear these as a recovery shoe a recovery run shoe with both of them because of the height I I don't particularly like them for technical running now I know some people do run on technical terrain with them but personally I feel a little bit high off the ground um, so I wouldn't want to be trying to run quickly on technical rocky trails with these um, that, that's just my preference. But certainly the, the Hokers, I really like them as a, a recovery run shoe. So that's the, the more cushioned shoes. If we have a look at the Sense Ride, as I said before, you've, you've got a, quite a, a, a bit of cushioning in there. And I think these are just a, a good all round shoe, but again, a bit more suited to drier trails. There's not a great deal of lug depth there for running on um, muddy conditions, um, but certainly a decent bit of cushioning and um, you know a comfortable shoe for me. So yeah, a bit of a, a decent all-rounder there. Moving on, looking at the Innovate Rocklite G275. This is the um, the lightest of all the shoes. Only just it's 275 grams as a name implies. What I did like about this, uh, there's, there's not a great deal of cushioning in it, but I don't need a great deal of cushioning personally because I don't weigh very much. But what I did like is the 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 lugs, the, the, the lug depth on there. Um, so you're quite low to the ground and you've got a good grip in a lot of conditions, a lot, a lot of different types of terrain there. I feel a bit more comfortable on muddy or even sort of steep grass. So that's what I would like about the rock light. In terms of the Sportiva, La Sportiva, the Captiva, probably, well, 
Out of all the shoes, second in terms of um, aggressiveness of sole, but it would be equally suited to hard ground. So a mix of muddy, wet conditions and harder packed ground. Probably out of all of them, this feels the more racy of, of the shoes, if you like. So um, not a great heel to toe differential. Um, it, it just felt uh, a, a bit like a, a racier shoe. Uh, an interesting thing I noticed on it is that the the tongue is integrated into the side of the shoe. You can see that. Um, and what that actually means is it's, a, it's good protection for against getting stones down into your shoes. So uh, in, you know, in between your, your shoe and your sock. So that would be good on, on loose, rocky terrain where stones are flying all over the place. I would say that's really well suited to maybe fast running on technical ground. Then we've got the, the Dynafit, the Alpine Pro. Felt, felt quite snug to me, but as I've said before, um, fit is kind of subjective. Grip-wise, pretty good grip on that forefoot, but what I did notice is a bit of a, a lack of grip in the, the heel area, which I suspected, which meant that on really muddy ground, not, not the best out of them. It's not, not the worst, but not the best. So dry trails predominantly, I think that that would um, would suit itself too. So we've got a bit of everything with all those. If I had to choose only one pair of these shoes, I would go with the Innovate Rocklight G275. That's just because I think that this is more suited to all round British conditions. They'd all be fine on, on dry trails, but how often in Britain do we get dry trails even in summer? So the fact that it's got the, the best grip would mean that it's um, the best suited to uh, muddy conditions. We'd even get away with a bit of fell with this. It, it's, it's not um, a fell shoe per se, it's a trail shoe but you'd, you'd even get away with a bit of fell running with that. That is what I would choose, but that is because it suits my my style of running, um, of the type of terrain that I'll run on. You might have different a different perspective on it and you might have different um, ideas for what you want from a running shoe, but that's, that's what I would go for. Um, but remember, there's nothing wrong with having more than one pair of shoes, so you could fill your cupboard and have all of them if you want to. So that's my review of these six shoes. Um, I hope it's been useful in some ways, um, but shoe choice is, uh, is very subjective, as I've said before. So anyway, that's it for me. Happy running. <laughs>